Proto-native plants help protect our waterfronts. This goes along with Florida-friendly landscaping principle number nine, which is protecting the waterfront. And these native plants have many benefits to protect the waterway and keep our water quality clean. For example, this sand cord grass, this will help to uptake nitrogen and prevent that from making the algae grow in our water bodies. Another way that plants help protect the waterfront is uptake of phosphorus. So the plants help to reduce erosion, which is when we get a heavy rainfall, all that sediment that runs into the water bodies, the plants root systems help to protect the shorelines and prevent the phosphorus from going into the water with the erosion. Um, these plants are also great for attracting wildlife and providing food and shelter for them. For example, the flowers have pollen and nectar that are good for pollinators such as bees and butterflies. And the plants also produce little seed pods which are good for birds or some berries or fruits. In addition, they provide habitat for birds and other creatures to make their home and have a place to live. When you're planting your shoreline, there's some different zones of the shoreline. And we start with the tallest, um, the highest one, which is the uplands. In the upland area, you'll find plants like a cypress tree. You'll find plants like a wax myrtle and also like this sand cord grass. These are along the water body, but not directly in the water. Although a lot of these plants are both drought tolerant and flood tolerant, meaning that they can withstand periods of dry with no rain for a couple months. They can also withstand when we get excessive rainfall and they might even be underwater for periods of time. Moving down the shoreline, you'll get to the next zone, which is plants that are still above the water line, like this canna, but they're not growing directly in the water. Uh, plants like this need constant moisture, and that's why they live right above the water line. And you can see here some plantings of some canna and the blue flag iris. They're blooming beautifully today with that purple flower. Um, moving either further down into the water, you'll have your emergent plants like your duck potato and your pickerel weed. And I have some other plants here like this bacopa that is going to be growing right at the water's edge, actually in the water. And those plants like to be in the water full time and you can see they're nice and fleshy and they need that water. They can also take some periods of drier where they'll be out of the water and some periods of flooding where they might be completely submerged in the water. Also in that zone, you'll find things like water lilies and cattails, things that are just growing out of the water. So next I'm gonna show you how to actually plant some of these plants. Let's go over here. All right, so now we're gonna do some planting and this one I'm just gonna to leave to the side right here. And we're actually gonna plant in the water because this is really easy. You can do this at home in your own lakefront. What you wanna do is you wanna get a shovel, right like this, a normal shovel. And then here's one of these aquatic plants that's in the emergent zone. So the water would normally be right up to this in this plant. You can see how fleshy the leaves and the roots are because it always is living in the water. And this is a duck potato type of plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this. And it's really easy to plant. What you wanna do is stick your shovel into the ground and then just move the shovel forward. And in that little pocket above there, that's where you'll stick the plant, right down in there. After you have the plant inserted, then you can just do some gentle steps around the plant and that will secure it in there. Now it's normal to experience a little bit of um, transplant shock 
after the plant is planted so you can see some leaves that are dried up and that's just fine and it will recover in no time. So it's easy to work in your own uh, lakescape, whether you have a pond or a shoreline or a little um, lakefront that you can work in. And these plants are easy to propagate and dig them up and relocate them. And you can do most of that without a permit. If you're going to be um, doing a lot of clearing or dredging or filling or spraying with herbicide, in that case, you will want to get a permit. So thanks for visiting our wetland and I hope you learned a little bit about protecting the environment.